Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's JoLaine Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Yes, that's right, it's day three of Trailer Park Christmas 2012, and I've already been cooking up a storm. On day one, we did a great appetizer that you could serve at your next Trailer Park Christmas party, and then yesterday, I did a great deviled ham appetizer dip that you could use for um, maybe chips or pretzels, and it's great at a party. It's quick to whip up and just take out the door to a party. Well, today, we're actually doing a great thing that could be used as a gift. You could wrap it up all pretty in a box and give it away as a gift because it's a surprise because the ingredient of it is cheddar cheese. And I've just bought that pre-shredded cheese because sometimes that's on sale or you could shred your own, whatever you like. But this is actually a fudge, a chocolate fudge made out of cheddar cheese. And you're probably going, Jolene, I'm scared about that. Well, don't worry. Cheddar cheese has a nice creamy taste that really goes great in this fudge. And you can just go surprise after your friends try some. And you can say, that's cheddar chocolate fudge from Jolene Sugar Baker in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make my cheddar chocolate fudge up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show and Trailer Park Christmas 2012. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my cheddar chocolate fudge is really simple. And I'm using the stand mixer today, but you could probably mix it by hand, but it's going to be kind of hard to do that. But what I'm going to do is I've got two sticks of butter here, and I'm going to put that in the bowl just like that. So I have this up on the, the countertop so it's been softening. Um, you don't want it melted, but you do want it softened. And it goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And I've got two cups of shredded mild cheddar cheese. And that goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And you could shred your own or you could just buy it in the bag. Sometimes it's on special. and. You know, some people are concerned about this recipe. It's okay. It's all going to taste great, and people are never going to know the difference. Let me check my recipe here. I've got a half cup of cocoa, and I've measured that out right. So that goes right on in there. This is that unsweetened baking cocoa, and that goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And about a teaspoon you know I don't measure vanilla, so let's just go ahead and dunk some on in there. There we go. Now, this is one and a half cups of um, dry, non-fat milk powder. And um, one and a half cups is just dry, and that goes right on into the mixing bowl. Start this very slowly, and you're going to mix it around until it starts getting all together. Okay, now that we mix that up, we're going to add one and a half pounds of powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar, and it, this is a two pound bag, so we're not going to pour all of it in there, but we're going to mix it together until we get that all well mixed, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we have our chocolate fudge mixture here, and you can't see the cheese anymore, and it smells like chocolate, and it looks like fudge. But I've got a 9-inch baking pan that I sprayed out with some butter spray. And we're just going to take some and actually just spread it all out on the pan until it's well spread out. And then we're going to chill this and then cut it into squares. So let me get this done and I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. We've got it spread out in the pan. Now we're going to chill it in the refrigerator a few hours. I can find the brain. And 
And there you have it, my cheddar chocolate fudge. And look at that, I cut it up into squares, and it's just a nice little delightful piece of chocolate. And who knows, I mean, people won't know it unless you tell them. And uh, it's got that cheddar cheese in there, and it's such a surprise. You could cut it up in squares and put it in a pretty box with cellophane on it and give it as a gift and only tell them the secret later. But it's a great fudge that you can make at home, and it's just so great to make with cheddar cheese and it's just easy to make. I can't wait to try it, so I'm just going to be quiet and... Mmm! It's creamy and chocolatey and got that vanilla kick and it doesn't taste like cheese at all. And it's just... Wow, that's one of the best fudge that I've had in a long time. And it's so surprising. You can definitely surprise your guest with this cheddar fudge and it's just so easy to make. I hope you get a chance to make it, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the Trailer Park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there, too. And don't forget, I'm spending the holidays with you. There's a video every day till the 25th, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And, of course, leave a comment so I know you stopped by for the holidays. I love y'all, and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Thumbs pride in the double wide. Spend the holidays, the trailer park away.